What do you think? It's no fun looking at stuff when it's five below zero. <laughs> it's not too bad, is it? What year is this thing? Did he say 2014? 14. And 2013? It's cold. 14? Should have had my long johns on. Beep beep. Yeah, it's not not too bad. I don't mind the color. Where are we going? Hey, check these gloves out. Some followers sent them in the uh, to the PO box. I got a whole bunch of them. Okay. A whole bunch of them. I don't know. He says he hopes he can give us safety and warmth for the winter. Well, I'll take the warmth note. because the chore gloves this morning. He also then also said that he's been following for a year and he maybe should subscribe. Oh, for heaven's sakes! He hasn't subscribed. Okay. I, I don't understand why it's free to subscribe. So please do. All right, we're, what are we doing? We're gonna go look at a semi today? We're gonna go Sunday look afternoon? to see if it's a color and a look that we'd like to look. Well, as I have found out because of our own equipment, it all looks so nice and shiny on camera. So all I've seen are pictures of this thing. So um, we're gonna go check it out. It is the company that built those two beautiful trucks for Hill J that I posted a little while ago. He came over to the shop when they brought them trucks over there. We got talking and he sent me some photos of this one, so we're gonna go check it out. It's in our price range, if we have a price range. Do we have a price range? Cheaper, better than well, expensive? We're just looking. So we're gonna just go look. And you know how farmers are when they just go look. No. Not good. You do realize our banker watches this, so of course we're just going to look. Well, the video won't come come out until right, it's already ben? done <laughs> right Ben <laughs> just say yes Ben we have a very just say good yes. relationship with our just banker. say yes now do not this pop here how many is guns, mine how many guns you do, got in here do not put your lips on my pop Ooh, hear that new MPI exhaust a little throaty <laughs> still can't believe you went with the loud exhaust well it didn't sound very I think it's mine is louder than yours I suppose how I come got mine a, gets the quietest I got a better truck <laughs> it's older and in most cases powerful. older is better right I would say I could be biased Alrighty, off to Dawson we go tell them the temperature today like uh, minus 15 it was 15 or 18 below last night not cool no, it wasn't. Well, it was cool, but not my kind of cool. Yeah. Not my liking. Well, here we go. Here she is, and it's got a lot of chrome like, like Duggo likes. A couple of dings, a little cracked fiberglass in the hood. But overall, it isn't too bad. What do you think? <laughs> it's no fun looking at stuff when it's five below zero. <laughs> it's not too bad, is it? What year is this thing? Did he say 2014? 14. And 2013? Cold. 14? Should have had my long johns on. Jeez. Beep beep. Yeah, it's not not too bad. I don't mind the color. We're breaking our black truck lineup. It's pusher axe. That's what we really wanted was the pusher. Been looking for quite a while actually for one. Just it's it's the money for me. <laughs> It's the money, but she's got a nice polished job on her. Hey, there goes your house. <laughs> house well, just to be trying to heat that today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the other half. They're looking. He was waving. They're looking weird at us. He was waving. Walking around with a camera. Okay, I. Uh, My ears are cold. Yes, I'm getting back in the pickup. What suspensions she got? He said it had the low air leaf, which I think is the good one. Yeah, she's not too bad. She's a lot different than the 379 that I'm used to. Like, it's weird. You sit right here and you you don't even see the hood. It's like it's like driving a cab over. I think our truck drivers wouldn't complain about it. It's got an 18 speed. Not so fond of having another sleeper truck, but it seems like they ride nicer for one and the biggest deal is the day cabbed ones seem to be more expensive 
I don't know. That's just what I've found. So this one ain't a very big sleeper, so it ain't that much heavier having a sleeper on. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I know we shouldn't financially, but we've been looking for another truck. I said last fall when we were harvesting that we need to get another semi. Three of them is hard to keep up, and then we end up getting the straight truck out, and it works, but no one likes driving the straight truck. Yeah, this is not too bad, actually. Have to talk to Lance tomorrow. Hard to see if there's problems from in there, is there? Well, I was having problems with my ears, so I <laughs> thought I better save them first. I don't like the stacks. We'd have to do something with that. I've got a set at the farm. It's all like slobber, brown. burnt slobber. Nasty, nasty. What did the truck do for a living? Uh, live bottom in Nebraska. Lance, can we demo it for a week? Look at the security cameras. I bet. I bet he's been watching us in and out of that thing. So we're about back home. Gonna watch the Super Bowl. The one time that we watch football or sports actually a year is the Super Bowl. Who's playing? <laughs> no idea. Phil uh, Stan for the anthem? You're thinking, why'd you take it there? I'm not gonna comment on that. I'd stand. Me too. And I'd even take my hat off. All right. Well, that's a whole nother subject we don't need to talk about. But that's what we're going to do tonight. We'll see what we get into this week. We got to start hauling grain. We're going to have three trucks hauling this week. And it should be good for uh, maybe a gelled up truck. I'm not sure. I hope not. But three semis on the road in s below zero temperatures. Most mornings will be below zero. And highs of below 10 above. It's beyond Long John weather, it's now to thermal, <laughs> thick Long John weather. Car hearts and, yeah. Not good on a guy when you get that many layers put on, you can't flex, you can't move. Walk around like the gingerbread the, man. The worst problem is when you gotta go to the restroom and it takes you 15 minutes okay. to get undressed to, to do now, your business. Tell Amy to buy some of the pens for that. Oh, you need more of them? Have you ever had one on? You need more? <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> All right, let's see you tomorrow. And here we are today. The number nine. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. We're trusting it. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll see if it lets me down. I already audio checked it and it was working on the last clip I took, so. I tried these all today. Did you rip them? No, but I stayed warm for the 10 minutes. I got a outside. whole box of them for you. Now what is at this? home. It was in the P.O. box for you. It's, oh, that's... Yeah. Santa gave it to me. Look at mine. See, I can <laughs> tighten these up and then you won't be able to steal them. Can't pull them off anymore. All right, tell them what we're doing <laughs> here. Sleep. Is it safe to say now that we've sold the 8520, we've got money down on it, so you can stop messaging me about that. Um, I should have had about 12 of them to sell. Yeah, to pay for that one. We got a, We took the tank off the front of this. We also sold the tank, so you don't need to ask about that either. Putting the weight package on that we had in the shed for it. The guys that bought it are from Iowa. She's going to be their big horsepower, so we get to weight her up now. And that thing there weighs an insane amount. We're working. Working. Nice cold iron. It's really slippery. Oh, wow. Let's set the camera up at a good angle to watch us get hurt. That was heavy. Oh, kind of okay. scary, but it went pretty good actually. Yeah. Hello. We're halfway there. Yeah. Whoa. How much is 47 kilograms in pounds? I thought these were 100 pounders. You gonna get your math quick, going? Quick conversion. Oh, I don't know that, but Google does. So we got half of the weight package put on now. We've got a couple that are oddly taller than the rest, which I don't understand. 103.6 pounds. One seven. Each one of these are, and we were doing curls. Right. You were, I was well, squatting them. Yeah, I was curling too. <laughs> you got that one? Cause it's a little low, I don't wanna. 
You don't want to bend? It's the back. Overexert yourself? Right. Thought I was the one with the bad back. We could Let's put this ugly one in there, in the middle. Let's hide it. They're all going to be in the middle except for the outside. Ooh, is that an outside one? That one looks nice on that side. So we're hunting for which one would be the outside one, but we can't really find it. And I'm afraid that through humidity and moisture in the shed, that being stacked up caused rusting. Watch the toes. Yeah, there's another one of them things. We're going to have to take it back off. We're going to have to stagger it so it looks like we tried to do with it. We skipped three, then did four. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten used to these psychos? So is this one normal? Amy, you want to take that other one off? They all have to be at the same level? How's that going to work? Well, I, that's what I don't understand is why they are not all the same. They it's like they were manufactured improperly. If you did like four in the middle and two big, four in the middle, two... See what that's, what we're, that's what we're trying to get it. The same rhythm. Rhythm? Would that be the right thing? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now we can put a fatty there. It'll look like it was designed this way. You want me to push that or you're just, I'd, you're holding it? You yeah. Another short one. That a short one? Oh, that's, that's a big one. But this is dead Which center. Which would be normal. That's what we're this doing. This is dead center. So now we need a big one. See the problems we're having in life? Three tall, four tall. Dead yep. center. Tall one. Now we need three short ones. <laughs> and you can't tell they're short unless they're on there. <laughs> If what? If that fell on you. Are we done? Did you get this done? Are we done? That's 20. She looks pretty nice with her weight package rather than uh, that big ugly tank. 2,200 pounds. Wow. Not counting this, this thing. Maybe you should put all the bolts in that go to the frame then, huh? Well, it's weight reduction. Oh, wow. All right, well, she's ready to go. We're just waiting for the other remainder of the... Uh... What, what are you doing? drinking. We're just waiting for the remainder of the money to get wired and she's off to Iowa. Got all three trucks going. Nothing's gelled up yet, so that's good. I gotta call the, the dealer. Why? She's rattling. <laughs> <laughs> the Ford has got to go in again. Something's loose. Oh my. Smooth as we drive our vehicles, I don't know why. I drive nice. What's going on, boys? So we're Weston's gonna, down we're gonna already. Take this out. We're gonna put in a bigger one, and she'll really be. That's about a six-inch lift. He really abuses Weston. Five thousand miles, and now I see him on jacks more often than uh, I do on his wheels. <laughs> he wants to choke me, I think. <laughs> Dago, go uh, drill some holes in the floor of your new tractor. No. Yep. That's what this is for. So go up there and do that. Come on. Are there Get any there. Uh, Come on. wires? Down I'll show you. Out. I'll show you what you're getting. You're getting the getting spoiled again. I got these footrests for you. Oh, they go holy up. Holy smokes! I almost cleared off. Be careful! Everything. I haven't finished that project. These footrests go in here like that. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we got it marked out. We put it in here. Mark it with a pen. And drill a hole. Do you think I could, up. could I put these on my Harley? Well, first you'd have to own one. Well, I'd trade this tractor off and I'd get myself, well, I could get quite a few Harleys for what this thing costs, but, well, you I'm going. You want drill or you want to watch? I'd, I'd, I'll hold this mat and uh, I'll watch. <laughs> You'd think he'd have brought a new battery. 
Yeah, it's not before sounding he started drilling. Very promising, is it? Now you did look for any wiring harnesses under there. Yeah, I actually did. Good. I could tell you a story. It wasn't me, but it was a buddy of mine. Yeah. Just went right through one? Went right, drilled through the rubber mat. I believe it was a Case IH tractor though, over on the right side of the cab. And uh, yeah, there, the drill bit slid past a couple, three strands of wire. And well, you, you can about imagine how happy he was. <laughs> Not good. I gotta get the, the hardware that they sent with. I'll keep holding this here. Good job. Fingers waiting. Oh, I would have to look out and remember all the days I. Well, you know, I didn't get my way. We sold it. Told him about how you made me sell the tractor. The banker made you sell the tractor, not me. I might have helped though. Encourage it. I believe I said something about the combine when it left. It's progress, they say. I question it though. Is it progress? It's progression more... is what it is. Progression. I call it debt. Isn't it fun? Oh, we need to do some reaming. It used to be fun. That, I was I used to buy stuff. I used to buy things and people would ask, the banker would ask, well how are you gonna pay for that? I'd say I've got the rest of my life to pay for that thing. Not a problem. I'm half wore out. That's a poor mentality, kids. Very poor. Well, I used to have my whole life to pay for it. Now half of it's gone. Making more room. Reaming. Well, my three fingers are extended as long as they can be stretched here. I gotta let go pretty soon. All right. We're just finishing up the install. Dad's tightening the two bolts. You gotta drill through the floorboards, which we have done. Two bolts go right through, tighten it up from the bottom of the cab. You are now like a case tractor. I really wanted these because everyone that drives the case tractor really enjoys the Harley pegs, so through Land Coda they make them. Dad will enjoy this. Eric's got the floater in here. He's working on getting his beast serviced for the season. I'll put the uh, link to landcoda.com in the description if you guys want to go check them out. I got all this stuff through them. The foot pegs, this cab kit, which is awesome. I still have not completed the install. As you can see, I got wires everywhere and I have not adjusted exactly where I want everything yet. You getting it? Why do I have this job? <laughs> it's not so much fun going under the cab to tighten the bolts. I did the other one. Ah. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of the day. The trucks are rolling in. Looked like no one gelled up, so that's awesome, awesome news. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys next time.